Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I'll be making an all natural Ayurvedic hair mask. So let me show you all the ingredients I'll be using to make this DIY mask. For those that don't know, Ayurvedic treatments and herbs are a popular choice among many women for hair loss, hair shed, and hair regrowth because they incorporate natural ingredients and have been an effective cure for these issues since ancient times. Some of my top Ayurvedic herbs I'll be using for this mask include Vigringridge, which is also known as the king of herbs. Not only does it help promote hair growth, but it also reverses balding, and it can be used to prevent premature graying. Next we have Amla, also known as Indian gooseberry, and this is a conditioning ingredient that aids in hair fall and improves the scalp health by tackling dandruff and an irritated scalp. We also have Brahmi. Brahmi helps strengthen hair and promotes hair growth. It provides nourishment to the roots and promotes new follicle growth. Regular use of Brahmi makes the hair thick and lustrous. Fenugreek, one of my favorites, is an excellent remedy for hair fall. It is also one of the best solutions for dandruff and is known for its ability to boost scalp health. And last we have aloe vera. This is also an excellent ingredient for boosting scalp health, curbing hair fall, and promoting hair growth. Plus it will aid as an additional conditioner for protecting any irritation of my scalp. For this mask, I'll be using one tablespoon of each powdered ingredient and then pouring in the aloe vera until I get a semi-loose consistency. I want the mixture to be able to glide on my hair smoothly and cling to my hair without running everywhere like water. to this mask mixture is optional, but for my dry hair, I'll be using a blend of some of my favorite oils, such as olive oil, avocado oil, and a potent blend of oils from Sotanicals that's rich in a lot of Ayurvedic ingredients. So I'm just gonna keep mixing this mixture just to get all the lumps and bumps out of it to get the consistency that I'm looking for. So now that the mixture is completed, I'm just gonna wrap it up and leave it in my fridge for a few days and allow all these ingredients to marinate well with one another until I'm ready to use it. Okay, so it's been about a week, maybe about a week and a half later, and the hair mask has just been sitting in my refrigerator covered until I was ready to use it. And so now I am ready to use it. And this is what we are looking like. My hair is freshly washed. I just washed it with the Shea Yurvedic Butter Shampoo from Sultanicals, this is the Heavy Shampoo Buttercream with Brahmi, Amla, Shikakai, and by Greenridge. I also have my hair sectioned off and detangled, so we're gonna go ahead and start applying the mask. I'm just gonna show you how I do that. Now, I did warm up this mask because I like applying um, my DIY mask to my hair when it's warm, and it just penetrates into my hair a lot easier, a lot better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just glide this on my hair. And this is going to get very messy, so I do have a uh, t-shirt on. This is not one that I normally wear, it's just an old uh, white t-shirt, so I don't mind getting this dirty. So just applying from the roots all the way to the ends of my hair with the mask. It has a lot of great slip. It smells very Ayurvedic, uh, basically just meaning it smells very herbal. It smells um, not like medicine or anything like that, but it just... I don't know what it smells like. I can't really describe the smell. It just smells Ayurvedic. If you've ever been around or used um, Ayurvedic products before, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Right, so I'm just going to continue to work the product throughout my hair. So again, this is the first section. And I'm going to let this sit on my hair for about 30 minutes. And I'm going to put my heat cap on. As you can see, it is stretching out and elongating my hair, my curls. I like the consistency that I, that I have it um, set for because it just glides into my hair. It just penetrates my hair very easily and I can wash it out very easily as well. So I think I got this section pretty well covered from roots to end. And I'm just going to put it back up into a knot. And I'll start on the next section. So this is pretty much the process. I'm gonna kind of speed this up a little bit 
and finish off the last three sections. And I will be using the conditioner from Giovanni to thoroughly wash this mask out of my hair because it does have a lot of grit in it from the herbs. And I want to make sure that I get that thoroughly out of my hair. So we're just going to speed this up. feels very soft and I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this out as quick as I can <laughs> so my hair feels really good it feels very conditioned my curls are still defined so to make sure that I thoroughly get the product out of my hair this mask out of my hair because it does still have that greediness from all of the powders I'll be using my favorite um, conditioner from Giovanni, which is the 50-50 Balance Hydrating Calming Conditioner for normal to dry hair. This is one of my all-time favorite conditioners because it's very absorbent and it is very low porosity friendly and it leaves my hair super, super moisturized and hydrated. So I'm going to jump off camera and thoroughly wash out this mask using this conditioner. So I'll be right back to show you what my hair looks like with the mask all nicely rinsed out. So I'll be right back. So I have all of the mixture now completely washed out of my hair. And I don't know if you can tell, but I've got a lot of the grit from the uh, mixture on my shirt. So that's why I wanted to make sure that I got this out really, really well. I did not want to leave any of those powders or little grits in my hair. So my hair feels really good. It feels very healthy. My curls are still defined. I got some really great definition. And my hair has been really doing really well here lately in terms of maintaining the definition and the softness and the manageability has been really, really great. Um, my hair is getting thicker, it's getting a little longer, and I'm just really loving uh, how healthy my hair has been feeling here lately. So I just really want to make sure that I maintain everything uh, that I'm doing and just being more consistent. So to lock in this moisture before my hair dries, as I have the, um, the air on, <laughs> I'm just going to go in with some olive oil. I don't know if you can see it. Some olive oil there, just a little bit. And just gonna run that through my hair and just try to lock this moisture in. My hair feels super, super, super soft. What I'm hoping to accomplish is just being more consistent using more Ayurvedic herbs and ingredients in my hair care because it does promote the growth, it promotes the overall health that my hair and my scalp need. But most importantly, it's the health of my hair that I'm most concerned because if your hair is not healthy, it's just not gonna grow. So that's gonna be first and then the growth will come. So I'm not so much as worried as the growth, it's just really the health and strength of my hair and just reducing as much hair shed and hair fall as possible. So I'm just at a point where I'm just really happy with the turn that my hair has taken right now and I'm just hoping that I can stay on that track. My hair is doing the most, but it feels good and looks good. So I'm going to continue using this mask. I'll try to use it maybe every two weeks or something like that. But I can also use just the ingredients individually just to add to my conditioners or my shampoos if I want to do it that way. So that concludes this video. I'm going to go ahead and style my hair off camera. I'll twist it up. Maybe, I don't know what I'm going to do to it, to be quite honest. I'll probably twist it up, just do a lock method and twist it up because it's just really hot. 
and I really don't feel like dealing with it today, but I'll probably style it tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and how I make this Ayurvedic hair mask. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it does help my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to comment down below. But again, I thank you so much for tuning back in for this video. And again, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm repeating myself, so I'm going to go ahead and sign out. It's just Janine, and I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.